a new update to Path Planner, which we use for all of our auto paths. And so this is the Path Planner app. And I've got a, a path defined here with several different um, points along the way. Um, this is our, our start point here, which I've just clicked on. And it shows us our X, Y position, heading, and holonomic rotation. Heading is the direction of travel. Holonomic rotation is the uh, orientation of the robot. Um, and those two can be different with, some, with holonomic drives, like our swerve drive. Um, then we have waypoints, our additional points along the way. So in this path, we have a waypoint up here. Um, and then I have another waypoint here, but this waypoint I've marked as a stop point, meaning the robot is going to stop here. And that allows us to take this single path um, and break it up into chunks. Um, we'll see why that's useful in a moment. Um, but basically it's like we could, for example, do some sort of an operation here. Um, and then there's another point here on the way back um which is on top of this one and then we we end where we started um as well uh, for each of these points um, we can do things like drag them around to change it um, we can also do things like change this uh, direction which changes the uh, the curvature of the path um, as well as to rotate the robot um, as well so those are all adjustments we can make um, we can Preview the path by hitting the little preview button here, and we can watch the robot as it drives along the path um, and see it as it goes uh, to make sure it's doing like what we expect. Um, and we can have multiple paths here as well. I just have one defined for now. Um, one of the new features, uh, so the stop, um, the stop point is, is certainly a new feature in 2023. Another new feature are these markers. So uh, there's automatically a marker um, at your um, at every stop event, so at the start and the stop, and at the stop point is also a marker. I did a couple other markers here um, along the path, so markers don't just have to be where the robot is stopped. Um, so I added a marker here and I labeled it as event one. Um, this is a way to connect our path and path planner to events we want um, and then commands that we want run um, as it goes. So I have an event one. And then I added another marker here um, and called it event two. And we'll see where we can tie those into our code um, in a moment. So that's the path planner stuff that we have, we have set up. Um, so let's take a look at the code. Um, so what I've added here to show off some of the features of um, path planner 2023 is I added this auto event map, uh, which is actually defined in drive train constants. I make a new hash map here. This is a map from those event names to commands we want executed when that event occurs. Um, so going back to robot container, you can see I put two keys um, in this map. I have event one is the key, and when that event occurs, it will print a message that just says past marker one. This could be any command we want. I'm just printing something to the, the console. Um, and event two will just say past marker two. Um, and then we, uh, so other new commands here. So a new command we have is the load path group command. Um, and what this allows us to do is I specify the name of a single path um, with, a, with the stop points in it from path planner. Um, and it will automatically break that into individual paths um, and return an array list of those paths, which is, which is very convenient. Um, so when I say load path group here for test path one, I'm going to get two different paths returned. Um, and they're both going to be elements in this array list here, auto one paths. Um, so I first load it um, and I specify our maximum speed and our maximum acceleration. And then here is a, uh, an example auto command. Um, so I did a sequential command group. So all of these will run one after another. Um, I did the follow path with events. So that's a new command. Um, as part of Path Planner 2023, um, which allows me to do our regular follow path command, which we have, and that's that's nothing new to us. Um, and I'm getting the first element of the array list here um, and specifying that it's an initial path, so we reset our odometry. Um, the additional parameters to follow path with events is to get the markers for the path. And so that's this line here, um, and then pass along the map of event marker names to commands to run. Um, after this, I'm gonna enable the X stance. Um, I'm gonna wait five seconds. I'm gonna disable the X stance. 
um, and then we're going to do another follow path with events for the return trip. Um, so now I'm getting the second element in the array list at index one, um, getting the markers and using the same map for that as well. Um, so that's all the various options here for doing the new, the new auto stuff um, that we've got. So let's take a look at what this looks like when we actually run it. So I'm going to do simulate robot code. I'm going to switch over here to shuffleboard and I'm going to choose the auto routine of test path. Um, and we'll go back here to Vantage scope. We'll connect it to the simulator. There you go. Um, and I'm in the odometry view, so I'm just going to, on a different screen here, I'm going to run the autonomous node now and we can watch it as it goes. There we go. The uh, orange line is the um, trajectory from Path Planner. And you can see how it's, it's tuned pretty well and it's following that pretty well in the simulation as it runs, runs through all of that. Um, we can also uh, run this command while looking at the swerve tab. So I'm going to run it again, the auto routine again. And we can see the swerve modules, how they respond as they go. And there we are in X stance. So that's kind of cool. And then here we are driving our way back. So maybe maybe, a, maybe it needs a little bit more tuning, but it looks, looks pretty good. Um, here's the console tab in Advantage Scope, and you can see that I've now run the auto routine twice, and we can see the, the past marker um, as they go along along here. Um, and in fact, I can even let's see pause this and open up the odometry in the new view tab here. And then I think what I should be able to do is actually select yeah, the marker here, and I can actually see when I move over the marker, I can see exactly where the robot is when those um, messages are written to the console. Um, so Advantage Scope now has a console tab as well, um, where you can uh, see driver station logs as well as just uh, messages um, that would normally be displayed in the console um, captured here as well, which is great. There we go. Um, all the new Path Planner 2023 features.